Hello, my name is Wasi Khan and welcome to this workshop. We would like to start this presentation by showing you how working with smart documents looks like in practice. In the video demo, we will show you the point of view of the student as he outsources his work and follow that with the ghostwriter's point of view as he completes the work for the student. We will end the demo by showing you how the reports generated by Slate can help you to detect unauthorized assistance. Before we move to the video, I would like you to understand rule number one, which is that the students do not create their own documents. Instead, they work on special smart documents which are provided by their institution. So with that, let's start with the demo. Alright, since, since I am a student and I have this requirement of only working on this file, I'll just click it open. And as you can see, this file works and acts like a standard word file. And my topic for this paper is plagiarism in the modern age. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll just close this file and send out an email asking my writer to do this work for me. I'll just select the file. And I'll tell him that this is due in three days and that's it hello all. so I am the ghostwriter and I have received this email from my client who says that he needs this work in three days and I only need to do this work on the file he attached so what I'll do is that I'll download this file save it and once it's done I'll open it up now once this opens I get to know that the subject of this file is vulgarism in the modern age so what I'll do is that just like the other ghost writers I'll simply go and search the topic on the internet I'll open one of the links to obviously co copy this stuff I'll just copy some of the text I find suitable and go paste it here. Now once I've copied the work from the browser, I can also copy some work from the document I already might have. I'll copy it here. And as I'm a ghostwriter, I feel that this is good enough. I'll save my work, load this down, go back to the email I received. I'll write to my client, please find attached the coursework. you ordered regards ghost writer I also need to attach the work I did for my client
and once it's uploaded I will send it back to him okay so now let's look at the report of the student who submitted the paper we showed before imagine that the student is based in new york the most striking thing you will notice is these two parts right here the inspection summary and the access logs we'll get to these parts in a minute but first let's look at the text the student wrote hmm i can see that this first part right here was in fact copied from uh, wikipedia with the following URL but what's more interesting is that I can see that this part was actually copied in by a computer in Karachi Pakistan which I feel is strange since the student is based in New York as I scroll down below I can see that even the second part was copied by the same computer from the same location But this time they copied from a document instead of a web page. This brings us to these two parts in the beginning of the report. We just show that this document was accessed by two computers from two locations. It also tells me that the student took only two minutes to write a paper which was about 593 words, which is too fast for a human. The access log here shows a summary of the access history of the document based on location and since most of these changes were not added in by the student's own computer it is clear that this work is probably not original or authentic all of this data just gives you insight into the activity of the student which you can't get anywhere else the documents also contain more information like in how many writing sessions a student took to complete his paper and how long each session lasted. But the information presented in this report is usually enough to expose any wrongdoing. I hope you like this video demo and I hope that you will give this technology a chance to at least make cheating students think twice about art sourcing. My colleague Hassan will now provide you with more details in his presentation. Thank you for your time.